Hello, everybody. Welcome again to our series of lectures about uh, using um, uh, multispectral imaging and hyperspectral imaging for quality evaluation of different agrofood products. In this session, we are going to speak about uh, illumination based multispectral imaging system and how to implement this technology for quality evaluation and the phenotyping of uh, seed product. And uh, we have a case study using uh, cowpea seeds. So, uh, why we, we use this uh, technology in, in this kind of application? So, as you, as you know, we, if you need to evaluate the seeds, especially the seed you need to uh, cultivate uh, to produce in your subsequent season, not for food. So, you, this evaluation go through a very long and very tedious uh, process to evaluate the overall quality of the seeds. You need to test the germination, you need to test the vigor, you need to test the electrical conductivity, a lot of procedures you need to go through. So the solution for that, because it's a very time consuming, it is a destructive technique and require experienced uh, seed analysts. So the solution is to find the, an alternative for that. So to develop this uh, kind of accurate and uh, fast technique, you need to use spectral imaging. Why spectral imaging? Because it can bridge the two technology, spectroscopy and imaging. Imaging to give you information about the dimensions, uh, color, uh, uh, texture, all of this uh, appearance of the, of the seeds. In addition, you need to have a spectroscopy, a spectral information. Why spectral information? Because it gives you some information about internal structure, internal properties, like chemical composition of your seed. And finally, so to, to see, as, you, as we see from the last session, the difference between hyperspectral imaging and multispectral imaging is number of wavelengths you acquired the image at. So, in multispectral imaging, you have only few wavelengths you acquire the image. In hyperspectral imaging, you have a lot of contiguous narrow bands. So we need to use multispectral imaging for quality evaluation, not, not only for the seed lot, but for each single seed inside the seed lot. We are going to use here uh, what is called uh, illumination based system. We carry out the literature review about using this uh, technology, multispectral imaging, for quality evaluation of different sorts of seeds. It is already successfully implemented for quality evalua evaluation of, se uh, of seeds of Spanish tomato, wheat, rice, uh, uh, castor, uh, chili, bees, a lot. We are going to use this technology for cow bee seeds quality evaluation. So if you remember the scenario of uh, analyzing multispectral imaging, you need three modules. You need to acquire a high quality image, you need to extract the data, and you need to, uh, to predict prediction or to build the prediction model. So our data is to uh, try to mimic uh, seeds of different quality. We aged the seeds at different uh, stages, starting from zero day, the control, and for a, a, for seeds aged through 96 hours. And then we divide the seeds to different to different categories: uh, training set and validation sets. After aging, we test the seeds whether this seeds aged or unaged. Seeds after aging could be germinated or dead. Seeds also, after uh, transplanted, could give you normal plants or abnormal seedlings. And finally, these seeds can germinate very fast, maybe within 24 hours or 48 hours, depending on your variety, or could be medium to, to germinate in, in medium uh, period. And the funny is, is seeds could be dyed at all, could be uh, non-germinated at all. So different classification. So uh, we prepared the seeds with different categories, and we are going now to acquire the image. This is the full protocol. As you see here, we have the seeds in the middle. We 
go to acquire the image in the right hand side. But first, we need, as, you, as I told you, to acquire a high quality image, you need to calibrate your system. So you have the multi-spectral imaging, you need some pre-processing. Again, I remind you, we have three modules. First module, to have to acquire the image and to calibrate and to be sure you have a high quality high quality image. Then extract the data. As you, as you see here, I extract the data from my image. This is from my hand. Right hand is obtaining the data from the image. From the other hand, I need to obtain information about real characteristics of the seeds. So these seeds go to machine vision system to acquire uh, some information about uh, the color, the dimensions, and also to monitor uh, how and when this germination starts. And then we transplanted the seeds inside the growing chamber to, to know which, which seed give, you, give us uh, uh, good uh, seedlings and the other which one that give us uh, bad seedlings and finally which seeds that is already not germinated at all. And from right information, right hand side information, we have spectral data. From left hand side, we have information about different classification. We build this information together to build these models. It's called the classification models. So. Uh, this is the overall uh, data that we have from different, different seeds. As you see here, there is a difference between uh, the non-aged and the aged seeds. And the, 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 as you see here, the like, arrow indicated here, uh, the, sea, the, sea, the spectral signature of the seeds coming from up to down. And here, if you need to, 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 to get an idea about how the spectral data different from seed to seed or from uh, a aging period, from period to period, as you see here, there is a, if you carry out principal compon component analysis, you can differentiate between aged seed and non-aged seeds. So this is a model, very simple model. It's called linear discriminant analysis model. To, to build this linear discriminant analysis model, you need to put in your mind, you need to categorize your data to different categories like aged, non-aged, germinated, non-germinated, uh, or uh, to, to, to see this normal or abnormal. And this is the first results of our, of our data. As you see here, if you need to, uh, to predict whether this, uh, this seed is, is already uh, aged or non-aged. As you see, the, the model we developed has a high percentage of accuracy. It is 97.5% nine, of accuracy in the training set. But usually, I advise you to look usual all the time for validation set because it's much better to avoid uh, uh, some problems in, in during developing the model, like uh, overfitting or underfitting, something like that. Also, if you... It, if you look to the uh, quality of the model, 97% correct for classification. So to differentiate between germinated or ungerminated, it is a life that can give, the impair you can be developed or dead. The seed is already dead. As you see, the accuracy is reasonable. It's still in validation set is 81% correct classification based only in the spectral data we extracted from the original seeds. Uh, final uh, classification, it is uh, called uh, differentiate between normal and abnormal. Unfortunately, the results is not very optimistic at the moment, be, maybe because we have a very limited number of seeds, it's only 500 seeds. But if I think we, if we have a lot of seeds, like thousands of seeds, we can develop a very nice model. We can even try linear or nonlinear uh, models can improve the quality of these models. For To differentiate between seeds that is already germinated in different periods, like uh, early germinated within uh, 48 hours or normal uh, germinated, normally germinated uh, after 48 hours or not germinated at all, the quality of the middle is almost not so bad and also not so good, but the percentage of, uh, of the quality of the model is 68%. Uh, percent. So this is a summary of, uh, of, of the model, the highest model with the differentiate between aged or non-aged seeds. And the bad mode, the worst model is the differentiate between normal and abnormal seeds. Maybe because of information in the seeds uh, regarding the, the quality of the future seedlings is not available all the time the spectral data. Maybe we need to some 
period management of the data. We need to uh, uh, make uh, imbibition of the seeds with different uh, scenarios. So we need to, to try that to improve the quality of this model with 62%. Actually, this is not uh, the full story. As, as you remember from the from la, uh, previous session, the, uh, to deal with the hyperspectral imaging, we need to, to consider three modules. Acquire the image, second, to extract the data and to, to build the model. How are, what is the outcome of building the model? We need to see this, to see the result by your eyes. So you need to build what is called the prediction map or classification map. So we try to build the classification map to transfer the model that we developed in the seed. As you see, this is a, this is a color image. By your naked eye, it is impossible, impossible to differentiate between the raw seeds and the seeds aged with different periods. But if you apply your prediction model, as you see here, the model that is already applied for the whole seeds, the seeds that is uh, not aged can be displayed in green color. But the other seeds that's already aged, as you see here, it is appeared in red color. And it's very, very optimistic because we, in non-contact and non-destructive technology, I can tell you this seed is already aged or non-aged. Non so the conclusion, of, uh, of this uh, case study, uh, the, uh, as you see here, there is a high capability of this multi illumination based multispectral imaging for quality evaluation of, uh, of seed product. And this, of course, open new venue of uh, this state of the art uh, technology, not only for seed, uh, for seed science and technology, but different kind of agro food products. Hopefully, we, uh, we transfer uh, a good knowledge and we share this information with you and hopefully to be very useful if you are interested to to listen more and to know more information you came to your, the right place and hopefully this information will be very useful for you and see you in other sessions goodbye